Terrorism chooses but one course of action to achieve its aims, acts of violence. In the mind of the terrorist, political disagreements and problems arising from ethnic and cultural differences can only be resolved by violence. Each group imagines it can only attain its objectives by ruthlessness and oppression. They claim that by these means they achieve right and justice. It is estimated that there are some 500 terrorist groups in the world. These include international criminal gangs that control the traffic in drugs, arms and prostitution, underworld organizations, perverted cults and various radical groups that commit atrocities in the name of religion. In the present day, with the help of an experienced chemist, terrorists are capable of making a biological weapon that can threaten the lives of thousands of people. One of the earliest examples of this was the sarin gas attack on the Tokyo metro system in 1995. Twelve people died in this terrorist attack by a perverted cult, and 5,500 more were injured. Subsequent investigations reveal that this cult had sought to make biological weapons in its own laboratories. This attack once again revealed the imminent threat that terrorism poses to the public. In an article headed, Terrorists View Us as Targets, Not as Humans, the psychotherapist Philip Shard, a journal Sentinel writer, describes terrorists' basic objectives in these terms. For most terrorists, their chief interest resides in effects, not persons. They are after the impact of the massacre not the experience of the massacre itself. They destroy human beings because they believe doing so is the fastest and most direct route to that goal. Terrorists feel not the slightest pang of conscience at the death of others. On the contrary, the more innocent people die, the more successful they imagine themselves to be. They are quite capable of ruthlessly shooting at innocent people or hurling bombs at a defenseless public. Shedding blood becomes a source of pleasure for them. They cease being human and literally turn into wild beasts. God has cursed those with such a state of mind in the Quran and has revealed the fate that awaits them. But as for those who cause corruption in the earth, the curse will be upon them. They will have the evil abode.